Dr. Brazel with Aesthetic TV. We are at the Sasaki Advanced Aesthetic Medical Center in Pasadena, California with Dr. Gordon Sasaki, a clinical professor and world-renowned aesthetic plastic surgeon. Welcome to Aesthetic TV. Thank you. I'm very glad that you're here and that we can share some of our philosophies and patients with you. Now, what is this new exciting treatment I've been hearing about called microneedling? Well, microneedling is an old but a new technique. And it's old because it probably had its origins back in China, in ancient China, where they were doing things such as acupuncture. And acupuncture used little needles to help the health of the patient. Well, that technology has evolved today so that now we have an array of needles that are in devices that can place with very little anesthesia, if any at all, depending upon the problem, either for skin rejuvenation or for scar formations that can become better or for hair stimulation uh, or for wrinkles and thin skin, such as stria formation. These arrays of needles in the, in the devices now have a certain purpose. They can cause thousands of little channels through the, through the skin. Each of these channels, each of these areas of small impacts that you cannot even see, will be sites for the stimulation of wound healing because you're creating a wound. Right. And once that wound healing occurs, what is the end result? More collagen. And collagen and tightening is what we want to see frequently in the aesthetic patient for different areas or for problem areas. But the channels that are made serve another purpose. These little channels allow us to put things onto the skin, such as, for example, vitamin C, or let's say retin-A of some type, or let's say a regenerative cell. And when we allow those agents to be topically placed on the skin, and then we do the microneedling, all of a sudden we have these particular ingredients getting into the dermis. So your body can better receive And it. they can do their work. And what is the work they're doing? Well, these regenerative cells, or the topicals you're putting in, eventually will create more collagen, increase in the vascularity, and improve the texture of the skin, the thickening of the skin, and the tightening of the skin. So it has many, many applications, not only in the aesthetic arena, but also in the reconstructive arena in patients, for example, that have scars. Mm -hmm. And then we can scar modify them. And actually, we can bring back, in many instances, the normal pigmentation. So Dr. Sasaki, can you show me how microneedling works? Yes, in fact, I have the device here to show you. Uh, this is a device that is called the Dermapen, and it's a way of delivering the little tiny little channels through the skin by an adjustable system. And it's called a pen because, as you can see, it's like writing it on a pen. It looks like a writing pen, yeah. And in this particular system, there is a disposable tip. So it's a very safe tip to use. We use it only, only in one patient. And we slip the tip in, for example, into the, the hand holder. And the beauty of this particular device is that I can change the depth of the 11 needles that, are, as one can see up here, mm -hmm. as I go through an area of treatment. For example, some areas of treatment of the facial area may require very small depth Minimal. of penetration. And that penetration depth is probably less than an eighth of an inch. But if I go to other areas, for example, acne scars and so on, I may need to go deeper to a quarter of an inch. So I can change the depth by just changing the, the markings on the, on the biotip to go to a different depth. But I can also change the frequency, so how rapid it can go. For example, I'll show you. Lots of choices. If I were to turn it to that level, which is a level two, and I'm working at, for example, at a 0.25 millimeter depth, which is less than an eighth of an inch, it is barely perceptible on the skin. So if I may take your, uh, your, your hand, and yeah, I'm going like okay. this very quickly, and usually we have, a, yeah, we have a <laughs> slippage on there, and there are thousands of these channels that are being made. Well, each of these channels, again, become sites for wound healing so that your skin will eventually become thicker, it'll be tighter, and if I were to place onto the skin, for example, a retin-A or vitamin C or even a regenerative cells, 
you will get much more of an improvement in terms of the aesthetic results to your skin. So this particular device is a very useful device because it can get into areas that are very difficult to get into in the facial area of the body and can do its work and probably one will see the results in about three months because it takes about three months for new collagen to be made. Well, it was wonderful having you on Aesthetic TV. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Sasaki. For Aesthetic TV, I'm Stuart Brazel, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to stay tuned and stay beautiful.